Hello friends, thank you for being here with me today. And by that statement, I mean not just thank you for being here, like thank you for watching this video kind of thing, but I also mean like thank you for fucking being here on this planet. Thank you for being here right now and existing. Thank you for living your best life. I really feel blessed to be surrounded by amazing people in this life. And what a blessing, you know, even looking back on people from my past, I'm like, damn, it's good people living up in this, good people. And, you know, I really feel like I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. I can't say that I am a hundred percent on board with where I am, however, that may not be wise or conscious to say. And I probably should be on board with where I'm at because it's where I'm at. <laughs> so what you resist shall persist, but I really feel, though, like, like I know in the grand scheme of things of this life and this experience that I'm having that I am exactly where I'm supposed to be at the same time. And something that has been coming up in my field recently is... You know what, not even recently, like a lot, but just a couple of times, um, but I've focused on it because of my own, because of the shortcomings that I have had up until this point, I should say. And one of them is that I'm crazy that more specifically that I have a uh, bipolar and for some of you that follow me and, and tune in you might hear me say that statement and be like that's whack yo <laughs> you're definitely not bipolar some of you may hear it and think yeah well we're all crazy you know we're all crazy because we are and some of you may be in, hmm, maybe, maybe she has that, I don't know. Um, wherever you are, and whoever you are, this is something that, uh, runs in my family, I guess you could say, and so I understand the thoughts of it and the perception of it and I know that it has nothing to do with me actually and I also know that I'm not bipolar and at the same time I am because we all are and that's my belief you don't have to agree with me um I still love you <laughs> but there is so many dichotomies to life and so many things that get to come into balance and be in harmony and life is also full of a lot of imbalances and everything is energy so 
I feel my emotions. I feel my deep emotions and I feel my high emotions. <laughs> I feel it all, I'm with it all, and I experience it because I am an emotional being experiencing this life and experiencing emotions and feelings because we're here to feel and to be and, and to exist and to experience all of that. So that's what I'm doing. And to be honest, like, I just don't really give a fuck anymore. It's like, it just, it is what it is. It is what it is. Whatever exists is whatever exists. And it doesn't really matter what anybody says. And yeah. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. I'm just doing the, the Sundays with Serena and seeing what what comes through, but um, I guess this was on my heart to address. I am facing a lot of resistance with, um, okay, up until this point, I've been facing resistance with writing my book and I've chalked it up to like writer's block or I'm busy doing this and busy doing that you know whatever but really really I have been scared I've been scared to write because number one <laughs> I am, I've written, here, here's, the, here's the reality, I have not written a complete full chapter. I have written like <laughs> everything else that I can write, like the foreword and a bunch of other shit, but um, I've started to write chapters and it doesn't matter like what order or how I do it or anything, just as long as it's done, um, but I am, in a way, experiencing these scenarios again as I write them, and I have all of the tools and everything I need to work through whatever comes up, shall it come up, you know, um, and there's also this fear of, like, losing my family for good you know like I feel and I could just be projecting this I feel as if in a lot of ways this book may be even just me talking about it and people not even really knowing what it is it may be like a, a final nail in the coffin kind of thing for me because my family hasn't spoken to me in two years since I started this um, spiritual path and <clears throat> you know I guess I've been kind of just like in denial of that that that's even existing and happening because it is um, it has it has it has um, recently I'm excited to announce that I have had a couple of family members too um, reach out to me to connect and that makes me excited and happy and grateful and grateful for for social media in this moment too because it's because of social media that I got to talk to them and it's also because of social media that I probably have not talked <laughs> to them see dichotomy balance and imbalance and um, yeah, and just me feeling it and being with it and being present and sharing with you. Because we're sharing life right now. I want to know people, like I want to really know people, I want to connect and 
build community and spread light and awareness and love and consciousness and understanding and wisdom wisdom mm. ancient wisdom I'm just hearing all of these animals around me right now and you know one of the things that I have spoken to that has from my perception of things um, steered people away from me but that was my perception and that has shifted into something better now but um, is me talking openly and vulnerably about, you know, my spiritual abilities with, you know, speaking to animals, animal spirits, and the land, and angels, and uh, metaphysical beings, and all of that stuff, and, <clears throat> you know, animals have been here longer than we have and they don't get lost in you know thoughts and feelings <laughs> they know a lot they know a lot and it's um it's really beautiful it's really really beautiful to experience i just want to share with everybody how beautiful life is how full life is and also you know I guess sometimes how empty <laughs> it can be and feel and all of it yeah and I'm learning and I'm growing and I'm studying myself and studying this world and it really is beautiful it really is you can choose that you know you can choose to see things differently. I made some Facebook status updates earlier and spoke of, you know, your choice to to choose whether this life is hard or easy and it doesn't it doesn't have to be hard it depends on your perception of hard and easy too but it doesn't have to be it gets to be easy and you get to choose that for yourself it gets to be beautiful instead of ugly you get to choose that for yourself there's so much to know that we don't know There's so much that this land and the animals on this land know that we don't know. And sometimes you just gotta listen and just be quiet. Whatever that means for you. We're all here for a reason. And I don't know about you, but I want to love on, on each other, on one another while we are here. <laughs> I want to lift you babies up. And I want you to lift me up, too. Shh. 
shit. I don't want nobody to tear me down. That never feels good. You know, I'm really proud of myself <laughs> because this week, um, so I have a YouTube channel that I am just starting to build and I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck my YouTube is doing. I've just been throwing up random videos to see what sticks and like what, like how to use it and all that good stuff. I'm a noob. And it seems like <laughs> people love, really love my rapping videos. However, there are people that also really don't like the rapping videos. <laughs> and I just think it's so funny. I think it's so funny how much time and energy is spent focusing on negative things, on tearing another person down. Like, just why in the world do that? Just, um, my genuine response to these negative comments on YouTube was to laugh. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I'm over here enjoying my life and um, having fun and just like freestyling, okay? Like it's freestyling, it's not like a, a written, you know, thought out thing, it's totally different, right? Um, I'm just like having fun and people are going to tear me down for that what? No, you're not. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's interesting. It's interesting to talk about and everybody has opinions of it. And something that I've been really affirmed in, in my response to that is, um, how good it is that that is my response because the more that I share and, and put myself out here and push my edges and do all this shit, you know, um, the more, the more people I attract, which is a good thing, it is a good thing, and I feel like I'm having, I have a good attitude about it, I have, <clears throat> I'm really grounded and excited, excited about Yeah, I'm also really calling in um, support right now in a couple of ways. Um, number one, I'm really trying to build. I'm really trying to build. So um, I have a Facebook page, a YouTube account, a podcast, two blogs. <laughs> Shit, what else do I got? I don't know. So much. And I want to keep sharing and growing. And, you know, if you resonate with me, if you're attracted to me, if, you're, if you feel my vibe, then please share me. And it doesn't have to be even on social media, you know? Like, if you think someone would like a podcast episode or a video just send it to them like I want to connect to people I want to share this medicine of existence and presence with others um, yeah and I would really love to be supported and held and lifted up and encouraged and loved on on this path because being an online anything uh, a personality of sorts has the power to be really challenging um, yeah and I am connected to some badass people that do this I feel like I've learned from the best of the best of the best of the best so blessed so motherfucking blessed just like I was saying when I got on here because I'm about to cycle it down um but I've learned from the best, and I'm continuing to learn. I'm continuing to learn from the best, myself included. And 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm just taking a moment to appreciate that. To appreciate myself and my, my people. Cheers, my people. But um, they all say... The fear never goes away. Sharing yourself online and pushing your edges, like the heart rate, the, you know. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be like when you're online live or anything, but just putting stuff out there, like blogs, you know, just all the stuff. Um, but I'm choosing to be in my power. I am choosing to continue to show up and continue to work on myself and to ask for what I need and to just shine light, to just shine light on everything. So <sighs> I really appreciate you being here. I love you guys. I'm not sure who's tuned in, you know, make sure and say hi. Also commenting and stuff, super helpful. Shares are the best. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sean. Hi, Guillermo. Michaela. And Flick. Oh, man. Love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. And anybody else that I may have missed um, who is here or was here or is watching the replay, just know that you are loved and you have choices and to love on yourself and to love on others. We are in this together and to love on the land. 